Whether you're an experienced or beginning AutoLisp programmer, you'll probably want to check out the Visual Lisp Editor, which we see here on the screen. Sometimes this is also called the Visual Lisp Integrated Development Environment, or VLIDE. You can get to this screen by typing VLIDE at the command line, or you can use the ribbon Manage tab, Visual Lisp Editor. As soon as you start the IDE environment, you'll see that you have what's called the Visual Lisp console and some functionality up here, which we'll get into in just a moment. This is now the way that you can submit Visual Lisp or conventional Auto Lisp code to the solver one line at a time. So what I'm going to do here is simply open a parenthesis and start typing in something. So as I'm ultimately typing in set var, you see here I stop at set va, and this is not a valid Autolisp instruction. Therefore, it's still shown in non-highlighted state. But as soon as I put in the r, it will check and say that is a valid Autolisp function. So therefore, it's been validated. I can now continue to put in a system variable that I'd like to actually input along with some sort of a value, let's say one in this case. And we can see now that the parentheses are matched, so there's color highlighting there. We can see that this has been color highlighted, which means that the Visual Lisp console recognizes that this is a legal function with matched parentheses, and that the input I'm going to give it makes sense. Let's hit enter, submit it to the solver, and see what comes back. And the result we get is simply one because this system variable command echo has now been set to one. So that's good, that, that's a, a legal outcome. Some of the other things that are particularly interesting as you start with this environment is that you can create files, start typing in code up in here. You now have functionality for things like cutting, copying, pasting, undoing and redoing so that you can correct typos and things like that. And that's a functionality that you simply could not get using a plain text editor like Notepad. There's some code checking functionalities over in here as well, which I'll get to in a future segment. So take a little while to pop in here, get acclimated, uh, get a feel for how this works down at the Visual Lisp console line by typing in a few Auto Lisp statements. And I think you'll see how it functions pretty quickly as you experiment with it. Good luck.